One of the most recent advancements in cataract surgery has been the introduction of the refractive cataract laser. Because of this advancement, you now have options when it comes to choosing the type of cataract surgery that will best meet your vision needs. You can choose between either a manual cataract procedure or an all-laser cataract procedure with the advanced technology of the Lensar laser system. During cataract surgery, the clouded lens of the eye, or cataract, is removed and replaced with an artificial intraocular lens, or IOL. A Lensar laser cataract procedure replaces the use of blades and other instrumentation used in manual surgery with a laser, allowing your surgeon to provide you with the most advanced cataract procedure available. While many people believe that lasers have always been used in cataract surgery, their use in cataract surgery is a recent advancement. The Lensar Laser System Advanced Augmented Reality Imaging System provides your surgeon with a detailed 3D view of your eye. This allows for a more detailed information and treatment choices during your cataract removal procedure. Additionally, this 3D image allows your surgeon to tailor the treatment to you, which may improve your visual outcome. By using the precision and accuracy of a laser during many of the critical steps in cataract surgery, Lensar offers you the most advanced cataract procedure available today. During manual cataract surgery, the surgeon uses a handheld instrument to cut and gently create a circular opening in the sac that holds the lens, called the capsular bag or lens capsule. This step is called capsularexis, and it provides the surgeon with access to the cataract. Capsularexis is a critical step in cataract surgery because it can affect how an implanted IOL will be positioned in the capsule. If the capsularexis is not done with the high level of accuracy, the position of the lens may not be ideal, which may lead to a less than optimal vision outcome. After capsularexis, the next step in cataract surgery is phacoemulsification, or phaco. During manual cataract surgery using FACO, the cataract is manually broken up into many small pieces in preparation for its removal. An instrument called a chopper may be used first to break up the lens into a few large pieces. Then the FACO instrument is used to break up the lens using ultrasonic energy. Once the lens has been broken up, or fragmented, it is removed using suction, and an IOL is placed into the capsule. The amount of ultrasonic energy can affect the recovery process and visual outcome because too much ultrasonic energy released during this step may cause damage to the cells and tissue inside the eye. In Lensar laser-assisted cataract surgery, the blades used in manual surgery are replaced with a precise and accurate laser, which also helps to minimize or eliminate the need for ultrasonic energy to break up the lens. In a Lensar laser-assisted cataract procedure, the capsularexis is created first. Guided by Lensar's detailed image, the surgeon accurately places the laser spots in a circular pattern to create the opening in the capsule. Because the Lensar laser allows for such accuracy during capsularexis, positioning of the new lens can be optimized, which may lead to an improved vision outcome. The next step in the Lensar laser-assisted cataract procedure is to fragment the cataract into small pieces. Lensar does this very efficiently, which reduces the amount of time and ultrasonic energy needed to further break up the cataract before it can be removed. In some cases, Lensar has entirely eliminated the need for ultrasound energy. This reduction in ultrasonic energy released into the eye may reduce the risk of certain complications and may potentially speed up healing time. Following the Lensar laser-assisted cataract surgery, the cataract is removed and the IOL is placed inside the capsule. Because Lensar fragments the cataract so efficiently, a Lensar laser cataract procedure may reduce the amount of time it takes to remove the cataract during this step. By choosing Lensar laser-assisted cataract surgery, you are choosing the most advanced cataract procedure possible, so you can rest assured knowing you have the latest technology available to treat one of your most valuable senses your sight. You may be thinking about surgery to replace your eye's natural lens with an artificial lens for better vision. 
This may be because you have a cataract or because you want to be less dependent on glasses or contacts. Whatever your reason, there are several types of lenses to choose from. These lenses are called intraocular lenses or IOLs. An IOL is implanted permanently in your eye. It allows light to pass through and focus properly on the retina, restoring your clear vision. One type of premium IOL is called a multifocal lens. It provides clear vision at more than one distance. A multifocal IOL has focal zones or rings that allow you to see clearly at both near and far distances. That design means you can be less dependent on reading glasses. With a multifocal IOL, your brain learns to automatically select the focus you need for the activity you are doing. Your brain selects the appropriate focus for a certain distance while ignoring images from other distances. It may take a little time to adjust to this way of seeing. For instance, you will need to learn how far away from your eyes to hold a menu or book. But as you adjust, you may find you need reading glasses less often. Some people who have multifocal IOLs find they see halos or rings around lights at night and their vision may not be quite as sharp as expected. For some, this is bothersome, while others don't mind. Another IOL option to help you see clearly at both near and far distances is an accommodative lens. An accommodative IOL is designed to move or change shape like the eye's natural lens, allowing you to focus at different distances. With an accommodative IOL, most people find they don't need glasses or contacts after surgery. However, some people may still prefer to wear glasses for long periods of reading or close work. As with multifocal lenses, some people who have accommodative IOLs see halos around lights at night and vision is not as sharp as they expected. And some people still need glasses for reading or distance vision. For people who have astigmatism, there are IOLs called toric lenses. A toric IOL is designed to correct the blurry or distorted vision caused by your astigmatism. The toric lens helps focus light more effectively on the retina. A toric lens may significantly improve your distance vision. However, you will still need glasses for reading. There are new types of toric lenses that not only correct distance vision for people with astigmatism, but can also provide clear vision up close and at mid-range. Depending on the type of toric lens, glasses might still be needed at certain times for reading or close work. Your ophthalmologist will be happy to discuss your vision needs and expectations and help you understand the pros and cons of the different types of lens implants. If you have any questions or concerns about your eyes or your vision in general, don't hesitate to bring them up. Your ophthalmologist is committed to protecting your sight.